are in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house, where I live with my mum, dad, sister Jemima, and grandpa. And today, I was showing him something new. Do you like my new helmet, Grandpa? I certainly do. Anyone see my binoculars? It was a lovely sunny day. Mum and Dad were taking me and Jemima for a bike ride around Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beachette on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop. And here's Miss Smiley's cafe which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops's shop, where you can buy anything and everything. And best of all, you can get to all of these places by bike. Oh, I do miss all those cycling trips. We used to have such a good time, didn't we, Wolfie, eh? You used to sit in the basket at the front. <laughs> Must be awful not being able to ride a bike anymore. Poor old Grandpa, stuck indoors day after day. Doesn't stop me having fun, though. No. This was the day that I discovered nothing stops Grandpa. Hurry up, Jason. We're going to stop at Mr Whoops's toy shop on the way. Mum's buying us a treat. Ah, uh, do I get a treat too? I could do with a bird-watching book. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Everyone loves Mr Whoops. He owns the toy shop in Sunny Sands, which is the best toy shop in the world. You can buy anything and everything here. Mr Whoops is great fun and he loves his toy shop as much as we do. I love Mr Whoops' shop. I'll help you choose something. But Grandpa, you're not coming. Oh no, of course not. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Silly me. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. Should we go then? Bye Grandpa, see you see later. You later Bye. <laughs> Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of mischief. He can run along shelves. Grandpa, stop! He can hide behind things. Grandpa! Grandpa, come back! Grandpa, watch out! He can jump off high places. He can run away from me. Grandpa, stop! Oh, yes. When Grandpa's small, he has more energy than anybody. Before I could stop him, Grandpa jumped into my backpack. I was about to get him out when Dad came in. Jason, we're waiting for you. Oh, where's Grandpa? Ah, gone for a little lie down, has he? Come on. Of course, Dad has no idea about the shrinking cap and no idea that Grandpa was coming with us. So we got on our bikes and cycled to Mr Whoops' shop. Mr Whoops is called Mr Whoops because he's always having little accidents. Every time he knocks something over, he goes... Whoops! <laughs> he helped Jemima choose a pink bucket and spade. <laughs> he helped Dad choose a book about seabirds. <laughs> and he helped Mum choose a sketch pad and some paints. Whoops! What a day! I had Grandpa to help me choose. Look, Jason, over there. That's the very thing. I love kites. We can fly it on the beach. I'm not sure a kite's the right treat for today, Jason. There's no wind. Please, Dad, it's the only thing I want. OK, then. Up to you. Buy it, Jason. We'll get it to fly. Promise. So, we got back on our bikes and soon we were at the beach. Luckily, Jemima was making a sand pie. Dad was looking out for seabirds. And Mum was doing her latest hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, 
Then it's salsa dancing, then cake decorating, the ukulele, knitting, opera singing, and now she's taking up drawing and painting. So nobody saw Grandpa helping me with the kite. If you get that kite to fly, Jason Mason, I'll eat my socks in a sandwich. Oh, I look forward to that. We're going to do it, Jason. Wait and see. I've got a brilliant plan. But before Grandpa could tell me what his brilliant plan was, Mum came over. Um, could you pass me that bucket, Jason? I need to get some water for my paints. Um, it's all right. I'll get it. You go back and sit down. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot under there. I've got to find you another hiding place. I don't want to hide, I want to fly the kite. The kite, that'll do. Oh. Now stay there and don't move. I'll be right back. I went down to the sea to get some water for Mum. I was hoping Grandpa was going to behave himself and stay under the kite. Luckily, Jemima was digging a hole with her new pink spade. Dad was looking at pictures in his new bird book. And Mum was getting ready to use her new paints. Thank you, Jason. No luck with the kite, then. Uh, try again, Jason. I'll help. I really want to see Dad eating a sock sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, honest, I, I... For once, I was glad that Grandpa hadn't done what he was told. But where was he now? There's no wind at all. You never do it in a million years. I knew Grandpa was planning to do it a lot sooner than that. But first, I needed to find him. Psst! Jason, over here. Whew. Grandpa! That was close. So what's this brilliant plan, then? Haven't you guessed? I'm going to use a little bit of Grandpa magic. When Grandpa's wearing his shrinking cap, he can do all sorts of amazing things. He can drive my toy car, zoom off in my plane. Oh, yes. When Grandpa's wearing his shrinking cap, anything he gets into or onto will go. He can even fly around on Gordon, my toy seagull. And now he was using his magic to do this. Are you sure you're going to be all right, Grandpa? Yes, I'll be fine. As long as you hold on tight to the string. Are you ready? Up, up and away! <sighs> this time, Grandpa had gone too far. <laughs> I don't believe it! Mum! Dad! Look! Oh, how on earth? That's incredible, Jason. Of course, I had to pretend it was me making it fly. What's that funny blob on the end of the tail? The good news was that the kite was too high for them to see that the funny blob was Grandpa. The bad news was that Dad was about to look through his binoculars. These are really powerful. I'll be able to see everything in tiny detail. This was a disaster. Any moment, Grandpa's secret would be out. There was only one thing to do. Let go. Oh, Jason. Sorry. Well, it's too far away now. I can't see. What a shame. Lost your kite. I hadn't just lost my kite, I'd lost Grandpa. I couldn't lose Grandpa. Who would I read stories with? Who would I play games with? Who would I put in my pocket? I spent the afternoon worrying about where he was. Then we all came home. What was I going to say when they found out that Grandpa wasn't in his room having a little lie down? But I needn't have worried. Look, Jason, your kite! <gasps> How did it get in our tree? That's really weird. No, it's not. It's fantastic! Mum, Dad, Jason's kite's in the tree! Grandpa, are you there? Of course I'm here. Hold your hands out. I'm going to jump. I rushed past the others into the sitting room and put Grandpa down. He took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. 
I'm so glad you're safe, Grandpa. Oh, I had a great time. Much more fun than riding a bike. <laughs> I'm sorry I let go of the string, but there was no choice. You did the right thing, Jason. Teamwork. Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy a bite of my sock sandwich, Jason? No way! Jason flew the kite and there was no wind! You shouldn't have seen it, Grandpa. It was like magic. Magic? Oh, I love a bit of magic. Don't I, Jason? Mm. 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 